good. Let's do this. Welcome, game developers, to Doug Teaches UE5. Uh, Mario 64 cloning. Yes. Uh, no. So, we are going to do a long jump and a somersault. How that's going to work... Well... Let's just do let's just do the jumping before we fuck with um the jump height and stuff like that in in the in the blueprint in the character blueprint. So we're gonna go over to the Adam BP, right? Uh -huh. So the jump the jump animations that I managed to grab were this and what was the other one? You. Okay. So, how is that going to work? Uh, so, essentially what we're going to do... Uh, we need a jump up. That's going to be the jump up. We're just going to do the jump up. What about the flipping? I have no idea. Uh, well... It's, oh, no, that's not fair. I have some idea. Uh, essentially... We'll, so... Atlas is gonna work. We're we're gonna have to uh, uh, screw with the atom frames, right? Um, because we don't we don't want this playing. It, here's what I mean. We jump up and then we, we land. We, we jump up, we idle, then we have a landing. Right. So in this case scenario, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna jump up. We have to. We're gonna have to have the flip. And then basically eliminate the rest of these keys, uh, the the rest of the frame. So we're going to be doing some frame editing. Now I'm just going to duplicate this because I want to. So we are just going to have it like that, like that, and then right click, remove the rest of the frames. So that way we just have that. And then with our one, the other one, I'm going to duplicate that double click and then we just have we can't we have to have the jump up that's that, that that doesn't make any sense I know I know but we have to do the we can't we have to have our falling idol and then we have to have our landing and we just cannot have it like We can't have a jump up and land in the same anima in the same animation because then the other animations are going to be called, which will completely break the flow of the game. Ah, okay. So all that work. So that means we have to go in here. Right? Uh, we go. We take this. We have to take is falling right. Well, let's 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 go into. The sprinting state and do the, the 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 long jump. So we're gonna add a state. We're gonna say long jump starts. Oh fuck! I forgot to call it start state. State. So in here, I have to have a check. We're gonna have to get falling. Sprinting. We're gonna have to say, we're gonna have to take the following. We have to say and boolean. We want to make sure these are true. Well, in order for this to execute, that means we have to go in here, and we have to say we have to grab sprinting and crouching because that's what we're gonna, we're gonna need crouching as well. Let's say here, not bool. We have to duplicate this, plug this in, and take this, we have to say and bool. We're going to have to add a pin that checks all three of these conditions to make sure that they're all true in order for this to run. Because we can't, if we, what happens if, what happens if we don't have, like, these two conditions? Then technically speaking, this, the animation's going to be Basically, all of these are gonna play. Yeah. Yeah. So now, uh, 
technically speaking, we can link this, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna, because it's important that, like, it's important people, you know. I'll just say, long jump falling idle state. Because uh, this check, th this, this checks, we have to check the condition on the time, wait, what? No. We have to check the condition of the time ratio of said animation. And I forgot what the animation was called. And I have to actually plug in the animation, so. Uh, so this is, this a long jump? Yeah. Yep, that's the long jump. Wait, no, that's not the long jump. It's the crouching one. There we go. That's the jump. I'm gonna take. I call the jump two. I'm gonna take it, drag it into here, and then I go here. I say jump two. How is it time ratio? Time remaining. Jump two. Time remaining. Time remaining ratio. And then we have to check to see if it's less than 0.1, right? Yep. 0.1. Drag this in. Go back in here. Uh. Is it falling idle? My falling idle. And then we have to have. We have to have a land state. Wait. Wait. Yeah, land state. What the hell's wrong with me? Ah, long jump landing state. Um, hey, where's the condition? This happens. It's a glitch. Ow. Say, uh, oh, we need falling. Yeah, not bull. Yeah, not bull. Not bull at all. Plug this in. But technically speaking, we sh we can. What you want to do is we can. Come on, we plug this into sp sprinting straight, right? If we're technically speaking, yes. But if you want, like, I'm just gonna plug it back in. No, I'm gonna plug it into our default state. Why? Uh, honestly, um, that's what I want to do. Like, you, you don't necessarily. You could plug it into the sprinting state, and then from sprinting state, if you're still holding down the shift key, then it'll automatic. Then this animation will still. Then this anim state will still be playing. Uh, otherwise, it'll just go right back to the default state. But I'm just putting it in the default state. Regardless. And if you're holding down the shift key, then it'll just go here. Oh. Yeah, because we already... Oh, right. Because you're holding down the shift key regardless. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, I just have to say... Landing... Hard landing. I gotta find... Time ratio... still using my temporary glasses. Plus, it's Sunday, and I'm tired. Man. And we do the same for crouching state. Uh, let's add state. Summer. Salt. That's not how you spell it. I don't care. State. So go in here. And what was this? 
No, it's not jump two. What are you called? Running forward. Okay. I'll just grab it. Wait, what was that? What are you talking about? What the? You're gonna place animations in the in the in the level? Yeah. What happens if you? What happens if you do what? That's it. Yeah. Well, I, that was kind of weird. I had, okay. So in here we have to say, we have to get falling, and we have to add boolean. But this time, instead of sprinting, crouching. Mm-hmm. So we grab this, plug it in, and then plug... Uh, I said plug you in. I honestly thought you were going to do the jumping on enemies. I was... I... I... I wanted to, but I forgot what... It's not the theory, it's just... I, I honestly don't remember why I didn't want to do it today. Probably next week. Wait. Yeah, okay, so you're doing it. And... State... Uh, somersault falling idle. Um, um, get time, no, nope, fun, running, hard flip one. Time ratio. I'll just type in ratio. I got fucking. Mm. Yeah, scan for this. We're not scanning. Mm. It's my temporary glasses. I really, really, really hate my temporary glasses. Uh, uh, um. Running. Wait a minute. Doug, you're in the fucking state. Oh my god. I wonder. Is the condition? Wait, did I do the condition? No. Oh my god. Running forward. Time remaining ratio. Wow. Point one. Ugh. Plug this in, and then I'll just do falling idle. Plug falling idle. And someone's not landing. State. And then here, let's say landing. Play that animation, and here we have to say falling is false. Not cool. Uh, and plug it into default state. Mm -hmm. And here, uh, say landing, time remaining ratio. Less than point one. Okay. Now we try this. Oh shit! Yeah. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah, there you have it. Now, in terms of we can, like, can we fuck with the, the jump variables? Um, I mean, in, where's, where's, is this, oh, this is left shift. Okay, so this is sprinting. Right. Uh, what we can do is, where's jump? Okay, so here's our jump function, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Let's move this out a little. Uh, 
Uh, I don't need touch. Are you gonna do any mobile tutorials on UE5? UE5? <laughs> Hell no! Uh, I actually did get asked by a couple of schools that were like, Hey, do you wanna maybe teach that? And I'm just all like, look, it's no, I can do that. It's no big deal. The problem is, you still need to, that Unreal, you're gonna need a powerful fucking rig to run Unreal Mobile, even by phone standards. That's, you're, you're better off, like, I, I'm better off teaching Unity, even though I fucking hate you, the Unity engine. Anyway, um, let's check to see, uh, what did I call sprinting? I think it's just is sprinting. Oh, it's right there. So let's get this variable. Mm, let's get croucher. Branch these out. Right, let's plug this in. False. False. Uh, that's that's stupid. I shouldn't have done that. Should I do that? Well, what? Hmm. Hmm. What is it? I don't want to teach this now. <laughs> what? Why? Well, it's just because it. You could fuck with it in the jump function, or you could fuck with it, or you could fuck the with the jump height in the thing, like here. Um, but uh, I'll I'll deal with that. Some, I'll deal with that next week. Let's just let's just um let's just ha uh, be happy with what they let's just be happy with what they got, you know. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll fuck with the jump height and stuff like that. Uh, um, next week when we deal with jumping on enemies' heads. So you're actually gonna do that next week? Yeah, again, I don't know why I didn't want to do that today. It's... Maybe it's just Sunday and I feel like this is, this is just easier. Yeah, in any case, send it here, narrator. And there you have it, game developers. Tune in next week for Doug Teaches Unreal Engine 5. Yes.